right, onward, let's go. <laughs> and there they go. They show us the same thing. We have a quick picture, and then we have repeated addition. And then finally, the algorithm. So once again, let me show you the beauty of the algorithm. Just start up here. <laughs> we have 13 and 41 hundredths times 6. As you can see, we are not lining up the decimal points. We're not lining up the place values. I'm just basically pretending like this is 1,341 times 6. Set it up the exact same way. On both of these, I think my 6 is kind of a little too far to the left, but you get what I mean. All right, so now we're just going to solve it 6 times 1, 6. 6 times 4, 24. Carry my 2. 6 times 3 is 18. 19, 20. When I add my 2, carry 2 more. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 2 more. I forgot what I was doing for a second. Um, all right, and now we have two decimal places, one, two decimal places in the whole entire problem. So we also need one, two decimal places in our entire product. So let's take a look what they did. As you can see, six times one is the same as adding six ones. And that's what they did with the picture. Next, 6 times 4 is 24. So um, that would be the same thing as when we put the 4 in the hundreds or tenths place and carry the 2 to our holes over here. I'm carrying the 2 to our ones place. So then the next step in pictures is adding up all of the tenths. So we also realize that when we add up all those tenths, um, that we have to carry. So now you're adding all the ones, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2, which is 20. So there's the 0 from the 20, carry the 2. Same thing over here. You can do 6 times 3 is 18, plus 2 is 20. So the 0 is down there, and the 2 goes up there. Over here, they're doing the same thing by adding together all the 1s. And then finally, the last step, if you added all the 10s places, you have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is 6, plus the 2, that makes 8. 6 times 1 is 6, plus the 2, that's 8. And then if you counted all those, plus the ones you carried, oops, that was too much, then you would get the 8. So we got the answer. Looking over here, everything looks good. Our um, answer almost looks like the Monopoly guy. And let's move on. All right, so practice. They want you to go ahead and find the product of 8 and 25 hundredths times 7. With this one, Eight and twenty-five hundreds. Think about money. That's like eight dollars and twenty-five cents. All right. So if you're talking about eight dollars and twenty-five cents times seven, some of y'all might actually be able to um, think about money and think about how many quarters make a dollar. So if you had seven quarters, how much is it? And then also, if you had seven groups of eight dollars, which is a math fact, seven times eight plus how much would seven quarters be? All right. That's just another flexible way of looking at it. Of course, the algorithm always works. So seven times five is 35. Seven times two is 14, 15, 16, 17. Carry the one, seven times eight is 56 plus 1 is 57. We have two decimal places in our problem, so we need two 